Dr. Paul Eniche, founder and senior pastor of Dunamis International Gospel Center, a powerful anointed church headquartered in Abuja, Nigeria. Established on November 10, 1996, this ministry, which took off from a humble beginning, has today grown into a household name with several branches at home and away. Everywhere you turn in Nigeria, the ministry is either constructing new structures or expanding its present auditorium. Divine proof of his spiritual root and faith. Let's put our hands together and give a warm living word welcome to Dr. Paul Eniche. Lift your hands and let's give the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords the praise. Go ahead and give the King the praise, the King of Kings, that's right. Give him the praise, give the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the great I am that I am. Clap your hands all ye people, shout to the Lord with a voice of triumph. I said, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout to the Lord with the voice of triumph. Hallelujah. Help me tell three people around you, get ready to walk in the fourth dimension. Get ready to walk in the fourth dimension. Now, I'd like you to do it well. Do it well now. Walk to seven people and tell them, get ready to walk in the fourth dimension. Get ready to walk in the fourth dimension. Get ready to walk in the fourth dimension. Get ready to move in the fourth dimension. Get ready to move in the fourth dimension. Give him the clap and a shout of praise. Father, we thank you for tonight. We give you the praise and we give you the honor for the opportunity to be here. Be glorified, be honored in Jesus' precious name. Give the Lord the praise. Please be seated. I'm here with my wife, Dr. Mrs. Becky Anencha. And our children, Deborah, Destiny, Daniela, Destiny, and Paul, Daniel. I'd like them to join me very quickly as we give a five minutes ministration. You are always there to help. You are always there to help me Even when no one else was there You are always there for me Even when I can't feel you Even when I cannot trace you I still have faith in your word that you are always there for me. You are always there to help. You are always there to help me. Even when no one else was there. You are always there for me. Even when I can You are all 
feel you even when I cannot trace you I still have faith in your word that you are always there for me you're always there you
place where I am still safe after it all my car with you Lord with you Lord with you Lord I can, I can be naked and not afraid my shadow That is why you will remain my great physician. With you, Lord. With you, Lord, I can be naked and not ashamed. Hey, and just worship him. Just get into intimacy right now with him with whom you can be naked and not ashamed. Father, we give you the praise. We give you the honor. We give you the adoration. Blessed be your name. Adoration be your name. We thank you, Master. We thank you, Adonai. We thank you, Elion. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Master. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. We are delighted and excited to be here with God's servant, Dr. Bill Wilson and Veronica Wilson. Thank you for inviting us. 
we appreciate you. John chapter 3 and in verse 8. John's gospel chapter 3 and in verse 8. It said, the wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh and whither it goest. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. Hallelujah. I'm speaking very, very quickly tonight on the subject of faith to live in the fourth dimension. Faith to live. Tonight will be having as ob an objective for this teaching first understanding the fourth dimension what is the fourth dimension secondly we shall be looking at examples of the fourth dimension from scripture examples and then we shall be looking at testimonies of the fourth dimension in our contemporary times and finally we want to look at secrets of walking in that fourth dimension. I saw, I, I met Dr. Tudor Bismarck in the hotel. And he said, you don't have to preach so much. Just tell the people what you did and how you did. He said, just tell them your story. I have some clips of some fourth dimensional operations and if, if you wish, maybe we'll just show some clips of crusades, church services, just two, three, four minutes. Hallelujah. We have some glory dome shots. I don't know if they have that. We had the Sunday service overflow where people were sitting on the, on the bare floor. the tent outside <laughs> Hallelujah Hallelujah 
I believe God is going to give someone a fourth dimensional miracle today. You believe that you shout a loud amen. amen. You believe that you stand on your feet and give him a clap and a shout of victory. A bigger, bigger, bigger clap and a shout of victory. You're expecting a fourth dimensional miracle. Give him a bigger clap and a louder shout of miracle. Of praise. Give him the shout of praise. And please be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. By way of introduction, I want to say tonight that God has called his sons to function in a dimension that is beyond the third dimension. We are fought dimensional beings living in a third dimensional world. That's where the challenge is. We are fourth dimensional beings that, that live in a three dimensional world. We are in the third dimension but never of the, fourth dim of the third dimension. The children of Israel, they were in the wilderness, but they were not of the wilderness. He said the wind blows where it listed. You hear the sound of the wind. But you can't tell where it's coming from. And where that wind is going, he says, so is he that is born of the Spirit. What is the fourth dimension? Definition number one. It is dimension, dimensions of the Spirit. We are time, space, and matter have zero effect. Dimensions of the spirit we are time, we are space, we are matter cease to be in force. Things happen independent of time. Things happen without respect for space. Things happen like matter don't exist. It's dimensions of the spirit. We are time. We are space. We are matter. Have zero effect. Number two. There are dimensions or realms where protocols are suspended. Realms Dimensions, we are natural laws, natural protocols, natural procedures are set aside. They are bypassed. When Jesus was born, it was a fourth dimensional operation. There was a bypass of procedure. <laughs> I see someone here tonight, some protocols, some procedures are about to be bypassed, about to be suspended, and God is about to do the unusual. You believe that? Shout the louder, say amen. Shout the louder, amen. Are you ready for something tonight? 
that someone is about to get a job that bypasses protocol. Someone is meho sheke pakalaya. Someone is about to get a miracle that bypasses procedures. Someone is about to get into a realm that bypasses order. Shout the loudest, Amen. Are you ready for this? I have ten definitions for the fourth dimension. Number three, the fourth dimension are dimensions of invisible, invisible realities of the spirit. Invisible realities of the spirit world. Things that exist in the spirit that we can't see but exist. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 all the way to verse 10. It said, as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. But God has revealed them unto us by the spirit. For the spirit searcheth all things. Yeah, the deep things of God. The fourth dimension is the dimensions of things that eyes haven't seen. <laughs> that dimension of things that, is, that are not visible to the physical eyes. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 18. It said, for we look not at the things. Why we look not at the things which are seen. But the, at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal. They are subject to change. But the things which are not seen are eternal. Hey! Mahashakoko bagadagalagaya. How many of you know that there are things that exist you can't see, but they exist? You can't see your oxygen, that you, but it exists. Realities in the spirit you haven't seen yet that exist. The fourth dimension is the dimension of the invisible, invisible realities of the spirit world. Number four. They are dimensions of the unpredictable. Somebody say unpredictable. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The wind is blowing. You, don't, you can't tell where it is coming from. And you can't tell where it is going. The highest anybody can tell about you is where you are now. <laughs> they can't tell where you will be tomorrow. <laughs> Is God speaking to someone here at all? The devil doesn't even know where you are about to be tomorrow. The forces of hell don't know where you will be tomorrow. That is how it means to be born of the spirit. So is he that is born of the spirit. Look at your neighbor say, I'm unpredictable. My future is unpredictable. That, that is why God is about, is about to use your life to take some devils by surprise. Hey! It's about to use your life to take some witches by surprise. It's about to use your life, Amahashata, to take some forces of darkness by surprise. Is God speaking to someone here? Stand on your feet and give him the shout of praise. Help me, help me prophesy to three people. Tell them God is about to use your life to take the devil by surprise. Look 
at someone and tell them, you don't really know me yet. You don't really know me. There is someone standing here by this time next year. If people who know you see you, not only will they be surprised, you will be surprised. Hey! Hey! Say after me, I'm stepping into the realm of the unpredictable. Anything can happen. Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. Dimensions of the unpredictable. They can't forecast you like a tornado. They can't forecast you. They can't predict you. Number five. The fourth dimension are dimensions of the unstoppable. Indomitable, unstoppable. If he says, The one who is born of the spirit is like the wind, no one stops the wind. No one stops a tsunami. Hey! Hey! No one stops a, hur a hurricane. Whenever you attempt to barricade the wind, you make more ways. You try to stop the wind this way, it goes this way, and goes this way, and goes that way. God is speaking to someone here today. As he led his servant to cause us to step into this theme in this convention. It is prophetic that before now, they could stop you, but not after now. Hey! 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 Mahashata Kalabara Hasada. I wish there is a real Christian here who will jump up on your feet and scream, I'm unstoppable. I'm unstoppable. I'm unstoppable. I'm unstoppable. Unstoppable. The system can't stop you. Ancestral causes can't stop you. Generational powers can't stop you. The forces of hell can stop you. It's God speaking to someone here. Shout the loudest. Hallelujah. The fourth dimension is the realm of the unstoppable. You are just moving and no devil. They just try you and you just keep moving. You just keep on moving. Unstoppable, irresistible, indomitable, unfightable. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world. Even our faith. And you are of God. And you have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you than he. Amen. That 100,000 seat auditorium you just saw on the screen. If the devil knew what was coming, there was no way it could have been allowed. No way. No way. That road in our nation's capital is the most important road in the whole country, in the whole nation. 
if the president of America was to come to Nigeria today, that is where he will pass. He wouldn't ignore that building. He would have to see it. It's just right there. It's just right there. When the construction was on, they didn't know what was going on. They thought it was a government facility. They didn't know what was going on. When it was true, and they said, this is a church, they say, how? When? Unstoppable. Irresistible. Before the devil realized that your miracle is happening, it already happened. Hey! 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 And I am here to prophesy to the American church. You are unstoppable. You are unstoppable. Look at your neighbor and tell them I'm unstoppable. In the fourth dimension, I'm unstoppable. In 4D, I'm unstoppable. Hey! Take your seat and let's go. What is the fourth dimension about? Are you ready for this? It is the realm of undeniable effects. Undeniable effects from inexplicable sources. Unexplainable. They can't explain what's going on, but they can't deny it. undeniable they may hit you but they can't help your results they may hit you but they can't deny your results they can't deny your impacts they can't deny that God is at work in your life they can't stop you they can't stand you. They can't do anything about you. <laughs> hey! 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 Look at someone by your side. Tell them, get ready for undeniable results. Number eight, what is the fourth dimension? There are dimensions of the unprecedented. It never happened before. Dimensions of the unprecedented. We are busy trusting God for what has happened before. And God is eager to do what has not happened before. <laughs> eyes have not seen ears have not heard it has not entered the hearts of man the things God has prepared for them that love him Mary said how shall this be seeing I know not a man God said I'm not talking about a man here I want to bypass the man and do something. <laughs> Mary said, since I was born, I'd never heard that the woman gave birth without a man. And God said, that is why I want you to be the first. It is the realm of pace setting. It's a pace setting realm. It's a trend-setting realm. It's a frontliner's realm. It's a record-breaker's realm. It's a trend-setting realm. And if it is for only one person that this word is, that between now and this time next year, God will use you to do something in America that will shake the nation.
God will use you to do something that no one you know, no one you know has ever stepped in. No one in your family line. The very first. You're about to set a trend. You're about to break records and set new records. Is there someone God is speaking to like that? You will say the loudest, Amen. Our sanctuary is two and a half soccer fields. That which you saw. And I told the engineers, I said, I don't want to see one pillar in between. I want to be able to see everyone at once. And they said, it's not possible. This is over 274 meters. In Lent, we need some pillars. I said, no, go and calculate on how it can be done. <laughs> they calculated and brought results and said, but it's going to be very expensive to construct. I told them, God has all the money. <laughs> <laughs> And God told me, he said, spare no cost. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, if it is for God, is you must spare no cost. And it was done. The roofing company came from Texas. The roofing company, that's the, 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 roofing frame company. And that was their largest roof in the world. They hadn't done a thing like that before. It was their first time. Everything there was their first time. Hallelujah. How many people seated here today are about to step into something and you will be the first to step there? Hey, hey, hey. Would you stand on your feet and just take a step forward? Tell God I'm stepping into something. I'm stepping into a new season, a new dimension, a new phase, a new realm. I'm stepping in there for the first time. I shall be the first one to step in there. I shall be the first one to step in there. I shall be the first one to step in there. I shall be the first one to step in there. Mahoshe Palaya Hazana. Give Jesus the big shout of praise. Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. Don't struggle to do what has been done before. And don't be afraid to dare what has not been done before. God is too big to be confined to tradition. He's the God of new things. New things can't run out in God. He's eager for someone whose faith is big enough to trust him for something new. Something fresh, something unprecedented, something unheard of. Someone shout yes! Hallelujah. Now my time is going and hear this. Number nine, eight. Dimensions of the unprecedented. Number eight is dimensions of the expeditious. Dimensions where things happen, not at the speed of light, but at the speed of the glory. <laughs> Dimensions where time literally stands still. Time is excused. 
It's an excuse. Give us, time. Give us space, time. We want to do something and we don't need you. When Jesus turned water into wine, he excused time. He excused time. You know what happened? He told them to fill the water pots with water. And they filled it with water. And there was no space, no time, no distance. He said, draw it out now. Draw it out when? Now. He didn't say, give it time. Let's, let's wait until the water becomes wine. Draw it out when? And he drew it out now. And it became wine at the speed of the glory. That was why he said this beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested, showed forth his glory. There is a realm where time is excused. That realm you achieve in a day what people will achieve in a month. You accomplish in a month what others will accomplish in a year. You accomplish in a year what some accomplishes in a lifetime. And what you accomplish in your lifetime, if you give some a thousand lifetimes, they are unable to see it because you are, ex you are, ex you are existing and operating in a realm. Where time is excused. Speditious. Time has wasted so many people's lives. But not any longer. Hey! 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 Mahasheke peke dorahasada. I speak to someone here today. I prophesy the dominion of time over your life is broken right now. The control of time over your life is broken right now. The siege, the siege of time, the plague of time over your life is broken right now. Get ready, get ready, get ready to operate in a realm where time is excused. I would like you to help me to prophesy to yourself and tell five people I'm stepping into a realm where time is excused. Go ahead, tell that to five people. Tell that to five people. I'm stepping into the realm where time is excused. 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 I decree the breaking of the dominion of time, the plague of time, the control of time, the bondage of time. Time can be so terrible. Time can give you age without change. Maha shoko bagada galayada, iko separate sato ko bagada yada, maha shata kalaga yada gara. Someone told me, he said, Pastor, pray for me. The only thing increasing in my life is my age. Nothing else is growing just the age. But that devil is a liar. That siege is broken. Can someone say a louder amen? amen? That siege is broken. That siege is broken. That siege is broken. No wonder when Joshua was in battle and time was messing up. He said, time stands still. You can't control me. You can't, you can't ruin me. Sun, remain where you are. Moon, remain there. 
until I tell you to go forward. And the time stood still for the space of a day until he finished his schedule. I'm here to prophesy to you. Time shall no longer oppress you. Shall no longer control your life. Someone say a loud amen. amen. Are you ready for speed? Yes. Are you ready for speed in the glory? Yes. On your marks, get set, go! Hey, hey, your destiny, your finances, your career, the glory, the grace of God, the mantle of God is moving expeditiously, moving with speed, moving with speed, moving with speed, moving with speed, moving with speed. All the years that the canker worm and the caterpillar stole from your life, there is coming restoration. Within the next three months, before the 31st day of December, 2023, restorations, recoveries, speed. Give him the shout of praise. Number nine. There are dimensions. The fourth dimension are dimensions of the incredible. Incredible. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. This is not possible. Only God could have done this. Amen. I'll share some stories with you just now that appear incredible, unbelievable. Too good to be true. Unbelievable, but undeniable. Incredible, but undeniable. If, if it didn't happen to you and someone told you it happened to them, you would have said it's a lie. But it happened to you. It's about to happen to you. <laughs> hey! It's about to happen to you. It's about to happen to you. Anyone ready for the fourth dimension? Shout fourth dimension. Say, I'm stepping into the fourth dimension. Things are about to happen in this country. America will hear. They will hear you. Finally, he said, thou hearest the sound thereof. But you can't see the wind. You don't know where it's coming from. And where it is going. There are dimensions of audible results. Results that have sound. The force is invisible. But the result is audible. The source is invisible. It's inexplicable. But the outcome is audible. People hear it. You don't need to tell anybody. They just heard from afar. Oh, they heard it from afar. The inhabitants of Palestine, Edom, the dukes of Edom, they heard of the parting of the Red Sea and they shook. It's not going to happen quietly. What God will do in your life, it won't happen quietly. It won't happen silently. It won't happen noiselessly. No! Everyone will hear. The forces of hell will hear. Your friends will hear. Enemies will hear. Someone say amen. Let me give you some examples in scripture and my, I'm running out of time right now. First of all, you look through scripture. Examples of the fourth dimension. I told you already. When Mary conceived, 
without a meeting of a man and a woman. That was fourth dimensional. In Luke chapter 1 verse 34 to verse 35. When the sun and the moon stood still for Joshua, time stood still. That was fourth dimensional. That wasn't physical. It wasn't natural. When Elijah moved from place to place, 1 Kings 18, 11 to 12, and Obadiah said, you said I should tell the king Elijah is here. If I move from here, the spirit of the Lord will carry you. Whithersoever I, whither I know it not. So Elijah was carried in the spirit. He didn't have transportation. He had transpiritation. <laughs> he wasn't transported. He was transpirited. He moved. That was, that was, you found Elijah here and you said, I'm coming back to you. And then you realize that Elijah was no longer here. He's in Dallas. At the same time, 857. Shh. That was transpiration. The same frequency that Philip moved, Philip moved in. Philip, in Acts chapter 4, verse 39 to 40. And the spirit of the Lord. Acts chapter 8, verse 39 to verse 40. And when they were come out of the water, the spirit of the Lord cut away Philip that the eunuch saw him no more. And he went on his way rejoicing. And Philip, but Philip was found. He evaporated from here. And crystallized somewhere there. He disappeared from here and appeared here. And was found. Time was excused. The same time he left there. The same time he appeared here. That was fourth dimensional. That wasn't the dimension of the natural. You know, this happened to Jesus. But in the case of Jesus... In John chapter 6, verse 18, look at that. In John 6, 18. And the sea arose by reason of the great wind that blew. So when they had rowed with his disciples, about 5 and 20 or 30 followers, they see Jesus walking on the sea. That is again fourth dimensional. I'll come to that. And drawing now to the ship, and they were afraid. But he said unto them, It is I, be not afraid. Then they willingly received him into the ship. And what happened? Immediately. Immediately. They were trying to move from here. Let's say from like 6 p.m. And they continued to move till about the fourth watch of the night. Fourth watch of the night, like 3 a.m. About nine hours to move from here to here. They couldn't move at all. And then Jesus stepped into the ship. And Philip was transpirited. Elijah was transpirited. Here the ship was transpirited. <laughs> hey! Hey! Ay, 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 ay. The whole ship, the whole ship moved. The whole ship moved. The whole ship moved from here. Moved at once. And then just landed immediately on the spot. You are driving from here to New York City. How many hours by road? 12 hours. 14 hours. And so you started from forest park and started driving and by the time you have done 20 minutes you see sign on the wall welcome to New York City <laughs> the 
the question is what's happening here something something hey get ready because someone here God is about to give you an unusual miracle where time shall be suspended give the Lord a shout of victory Time will fail me to speak further. The master walked through the wall after his resurrection. That was fourth dimensional. In John chapter 20 and in verse 19 and 26, the doors being shut, Jesus found himself in their midst. And I, t I told our members in church, when the door is closed, there is a road in the wall. There is a way in the wall. Don't waste your life before the closed door. Just look out for another entrance into the room without the door. When we are in the fourth dimension, Laws are suspended. When Jesus was born, without a meeting of a man and a woman, that was the laws of reproductive biology suspended. When he turned water into wine, that was the laws of biochemistry and enzymatic reactions suspended. When he walked on water, it was the laws of flotation suspended when he gave turn five when he multiplied five loaves and two fishes and fed five thousand men beside women and children that was the law of supply and demand that was set aside supply was not enough and demand was overwhelmed Yet demand was surpassed with inadequate supply. That wasn't natural. <laughs> Is God speaking to someone here? You know, we've seen just a little in the realm of the fourth dimension. One day we're in the midst of a service and a young lady had misplaced her documents, vital documents, got lost somewhere. We're right in the middle of the service, worshiping, and then the fourth dimension stepped in, and her document was found in her Bible in the church. Yeah. Opened it. Wow. My daughter Deborah here, one day she was coming with her sister, junior sister Daniela, they were walking. And she tripped like she was going to fall around the premises of the church. And two people stood by her and held her, caught her and held her up. Deborah, sorry. And she said, thank you. And she wanted to say, thank you, ma. Thank you, sir. And she found nobody. She was there. They were she witnessed it. And they started running to, daddy, mommy, we just saw angels. It is real. I said it is real. And it shall be real in your life. A woman in our church had cervical spondylosis. Cervical vertebrae degeneration. They gave her neck braces, about eight different neck braces. It wasn't working. The neck bones were cracking, making cracking sounds like 200 times in a day. She was in terrible pains. She came to church. Hands were laid upon her. And she was healed instantly. Neck bones healed. No need for neck collar. Next day, she comes to church with some dollar bills in an envelope. And she said, Pastor, I came to appreciate you for my healing. And I said to her, I want you to give it directly to God. 
I don't want you to give me money for your healing. Give the one who healed you. And so she took the money and dropped it in the offering box by the altar. She got back home, opened her bag, and the exact money and the exact envelope and the exact dollar bills were, was returned back to her bag. When she testified, I said, I said, I'm not going to collect money for healing you. And God said, me too. few more minutes. Just run. Listen to this. We have some challenging situations in our country and we are trusting God for divine intervention. But we've had such testimonies. The cousin of my assistant, my secretary was kidnapped and was in the midst of the forest in the in the hands of the kidnappers and she sat on the ground with her head bowed and she sang that song we sang at first you are always there to help you are always there to help me even when no one else was there you are always there for me even when I can't feel you, even when I cannot trace you, I still have faith in your word. That you are always there. She sang it. You are always there to help. I'm in the midst of kidnappers. You are always there to help me. Even when no one else was there. You are always there for me, even when I can't feel you like hell, even when I cannot trust you, I still have faith in your word that you are always there for me. She sang that song with her head bowed, and she finished singing and lifted up 
her head and she was right on the highway. <laughs> Beside a military checkpoint. She had disappeared. She had been transpirited. Hey! Transpirited. Like Philip. Like Elijah. Friends, Bible days are here. She was transpirited. And found herself by the military patrol checkpoint. And they saw her suddenly say, what, what's it? Where are you from? And she told her story. They gave her accommodation for 24 hours and paid her fare. We need the fourth dimension to escape the traps of the enemy, to escape the agenda of wickedness. In our day, she escaped. Young boy, on our scholarship in church, mother is a widow. And we paid his way through high school and then on his way to college. Went out with his friends. And like you heard of the terrorists attacking our nation, they were kidnapped again by terrorists. In this case, these were demonic kind of killer terrorists. Took them, stripped them naked, about seven of them, and wanted to fire them on the firing squad. And the God, young man looked up and said, Oh God of my mother, I can't die like this. AK-47. About seven of them tried to fire. Gun failure. Gun failure. Number two, failure. Number three, failure. Number four, failure. Five, six, seven. No gun worked. None worked. Try it again. Try it again. Try it again. And they released them. About seven days later, the head of the gang went to the school to look for the young man. And he found him. And he said, hey, do you know me? He said, yes, I know you. You wanted to kill me the other day with my friends. And he said, I'm sorry. I just came to ask you, what power was that? What power was that? He said, why do you ask? He said, please tell me, is there a way I can get that power? I need the power. He said, because from that day forward, the guns didn't work again. None of the guns worked again. Not only did the gun not work on you, it didn't work on anybody anymore. He said, it's Jesus. He said, I need that Jesus. I can go on and on and on and on. But we don't have the time. Now, these things are real. Uh, on our way to our trip here, we almost couldn't come. We packed our, the, the, everything was packed. And my wife couldn't find our international passports anymore. They looked everywhere. They searched everywhere. There was, it was nowhere to be found. She was in a panic mode. I was relaxed. <laughs> she was so surprised why I was just relaxed. There was not a, a drop of worry. She looked everywhere. A plane was waiting on us at the airport in Abuja. So what do we do? I said, give us a few more minutes. An airplane. And then, I said, Lord, let this be found now. And then, it just literally appeared on the table, right? Where she had searched. It was not there. (laughs) 
She said, what happened? I searched everything here. This, this table, I searched it. That was the first point of call. It wasn't there. What, but once it heard what was decreed, wherever it was, it appeared. God is about to cause something to show up in your life. Take your seat. I give you six secrets, very sharp and quick, of the fourth dimension. I want to walk in this fourth dimension. What do I do? Number one secret is the knowledge of God. The knowledge of God. The knowledge of the almightiness of God. Of the supernaturalness of God. It imparts on you faith to dare the incredible. The people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Daniel 11, 32. It imparts the audacity of faith, boldness to go where you haven't gone before. But know this. The knowledge of God imparts to you the knowledge of you. Because God made you in his image. The more of God you know, the more of you you know. You just, you just got to know how to function. By knowing how God functions. The knowledge of God. The knowledge of God introduces you to you. The knowledge of you. The knowledge of God transforms your nature. He said, for we all beholding us in a glass, the glory of the Lord, we are transformed into the same image. It just transforms your nature. Number two is the revelation of the word. The revelation of the word is key to the fourth dimension. Two, two or three reasons why. First, the revelation of the word releases in you, the life and the spirit of God. The words I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. John chapter 6 verse 63. Once you encounter revelations from the word, the life of God, the, the spirit of God, which are fourth dimensional, are released into you. Also, the revelation of the word bets in you faith to function. In the, in, in the supernatural. Faith. For faith coming by hearing. And hearing by the word. Romans 10, 17. It bets in you the faith. To function in the realm. You are meant to function. And then don't forget this. Dr. Winston says this all the time. The revelation of the word. Renews your mind. And upgrades your life. And you know. The renovation, the renovation of mentality is the elevation of destiny. When your mind is renewed, your life is upgraded. The, re, the, the, the renovation, you know how you, to, you renovate a house? The renovation of your mentality is the elevation of your destiny until your mind is renewed your life is never upgraded and so you want to walk in the fourth dimension one the knowledge of god two the revelation of the word three the voice of god the voice of god transmits the power to move from the ordinary to the extraordinary it transmits power Psalm 29 verse 44, it says, the voice of the Lord is powerful, is full of majesty. When you encounter the voice of the Lord to your life, it releases in you power to function in the extraordinary. And then secondly, the voice of the Lord bypasses protocols. It just, it just suspends procedures. Uh, I've toiled all night, I caught nothing, nevertheless at thy word. And then everything was suspended. Whatever he said unto you, do it. Water into the pot and then wine came forth. 
suspense project. If God will tell you to do it, no force can stop it. The voice of the Lord, the voice of the Lord, the voice of the Lord, the voice of the Lord is key. Moses was turned into something else by the voice of the Lord. God spoke to Moses and that turned him into something else, the voice of the Lord. Number four is the vision of unseen realities. You want to walk in the fourth dimension. You need visions of the unseen realities. You know what? What man sees determines what God gives. What man can see determines what God will give. For all the land which thou seest, to thee will I give it. Genesis chapter 13 verse 15. If you can see it, God can give it. If you can't see it, God can't give it. Also, and this is very profound. God does not only answer prayers. He answers thinking. He answers. He does not only answer prayers. He answers thinking. He answers vision. He answers imagination. Ephesians 3.20 Unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above what you can ask or imagine. So he's not only looking for what you are asking, he's looking for what you are thinking. He's looking for what you are seeing, what you are imagining. No wonder he said, before they call, I shall answer. While they are, they are yet speaking out here, before they call, what was that? While they were thinking. Isaiah 65 verse 24. While they are yet speaking, I will hear. Before they, and it shall come to pass that before they call, that is when they were still thinking of what to say, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, before they started the speaking, I will hear. Look at someone by your side and say, watch what you think. Because God is hearing your thinking. And he wants to answer your thought. I just have to round off here. Now listen to this as I round off. The vision of today is the manifestation of tomorrow. The vision of today is the reality of tomorrow. What you see determines what you see. What you see determines what you see. What you picture determines what you can capture. Your mental picture determines your actual future. What you perceive determines what you possess. What goes through your mind will affect what runs through your life. Everything that is beyond your thought is beyond your result. If it's beyond your thought, if you can't imagine it, it can't emerge. If it must emerge, you must imagine it. If it does not occur to you, it may not occur for you. It must first occur to you. If it's too big for your mind, it will be too big for your hand. God will never tempt you with what you can't handle. If your mind can't handle it, your hand will never be able to handle it. But if your mind can handle it, get ready. It's entering into your hands. If you are saying amen, stand on your feet and shout the loudest amen. amen. Be upstanding and shout the loudest amen. amen. Shout the Lord most amen. amen. Please remain standing and have to stop. Vision determines action, motion, acceleration, possession, and destination. Again, your vision will determine.
determine your action, how you behave. It will determine your motion, how you move. And determine your acceleration, how fast you run. For the vision is for an appointed time. Write it, make it plain on tables that you may run. That read at it. Determines your acceleration. Determines your possession. All the things you can see I'll give to you. It determines your destination. It determines where, how far you can go and where you will end. If you can't see clearly, you can't move fast. It's physical, it's spiritual. Hallelujah. Put those four together. These four points together. And merge it with your declarations of faith. With your declarations of faith. Because words are seed. Declarations of faith. And merge them with action, the correct action steps. You take steps, you make moves. And they become prophetic. When the lepers moved, the Assyrians had their, their footsteps. Celebration of praise. And in all that you do, if you want to walk in the fourth dimension, mind your association. When you walk with giants, you can't take the steps of dwarfs. If you want to walk on water, company with those who can encourage you to step out. You see Dr. Bill Winston? He's in the company of Dr. Kenneth Copeland, Jesse Duplantis, and these people that think very big. We hang around the same company, Bishop David Oedipo. And so forth. You are not doing anything about your destination until you have done something about your association. So many people have been held back in the boat like Peter. Unlike Peter. When Jesus said you can step out, they say no, sit down. How many of you noticed that Peter walked on the water while he was in the fourth dimension? But when he shifted to the third dimension and began to look at the wind, he began to sink. That is a talk for another day. Please, can we all stand on our feet? We have to stop now as it is not an all-night meeting. <laughs> Give him the praise. Give him the praise. Give him the honor. Give him the adoration. Clap your hands, all ye people. Shout to the Lord with the voice of triumph. Shout to the Lord with the voice of triumph. Shout to the Lord with the voice of triumph. Shout to the Lord with the voice of triumph. Shout to the Lord with the voice of triumph. Shout to the Lord. Clap your hands, all ye people. Shout to the Lord with the voice of triumph. Lift your hands everywhere you are and say after me, say, Lord Jesus, I come before you tonight. I make demands on the spirit of faith for the fourth dimension. Oh Lord, give me a baptism of the spirit of faith for the fourth dimension. Okay. Speak to God right now. Just go ahead and pray. Father, I make demands on the, on the spirit of faith for the fourth dimension. Help me to step in to the fourth dimension. To move in the realities of the fourth dimension. The realities of the fourth dimension. Help me, Lord. 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 In the 
in the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray three prayers this moment, just within the next three minutes, and I'm through. You want the touch of God in any area of your life? Maybe you are physically sick, and you want God to touch you. He is doing that right now, within the next three minutes. You can place your hand where you have any sickness or anything. Someone has been healed of a shoulder condition. You can move the shoulder, maybe by stroke or paralysis or... Yes, move that shoulder and just, just confirm to me that all pain is gone. All pain is gone. That's right. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You, you can't feel that pain on your, on your shoulder. Can you step forward? Just one minute. You can't feel that pain on that shoulder right now. Anywhere you are, just, just check that shoulder quickly and step forward here. You can't feel the pain. I curse that, that affliction of the shoulder, the arthritis, and whatever it is, go now. Yes, come forward quickly, quickly. You can't feel the pain right now. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Adonai. Thank you, Elion. I give you the praise. I give you the honor. I give you the adoration. Blessed be your name. Honor to your name. Yes, here. And someone is healed right now of peptic ulcer disease. Yes, ulcer disease right from the center of the chest right here all the way to the back. You can't feel that ulcer pain anymore. Quickly, quickly check the pain of the ulcer. Confirm your comfort here. Right here. Please find out for me what has just happened. You can't feel that pain of the ulcer anymore. That's right. That's right. Yes, stand in, in, in the line here and let us know. Yes, come forward, ma'am. Come forward. Thank you, master. You can't feel the... That's right. Healed of stroke. Yes, come forward, sir. Lift up your two hands. That's right. Lift, yes, that's right. Thank you, master. Thank you, master. Thank you, Adonai. Thank you, Elion. Thank you. If your case was that of ulcer, you can stand right here and let me know. Right there, peptic ulcer disease. Your name is. Tell me what happened, man. Amazing, sir. Yes, what, um, happened to you? what happened to you? It's locked. Yes, tell me. Um, so, sir, he 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 was crushed between a forklift and, and a box compactor. And a bus compactor. Yes. yes. And that shoulder was badly affected and he said to the person sitting near near him today and said looks like maybe he's having a heart attack the pain was so much on that same side but immediately you made that declaration what happened just now and just now that shoulder got healed he can move it move it show me what you did all the pain is gone. Give the Lord the praise. Oh, the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Master. Since yes, what? March, since March, she'd had a right shoulder, locked shoulder with excruciating pain. Again, just like the gentleman, she said to the person sitting beside her, all I want is for God to heal me tonight. And as soon as she started declaring, that pain disappeared. She's moving the hand very Incredible. Of, of worship, Pastor Michael uh, Stanley was worshiping, and I started crying because I said, "Oh my God, sis, God, just heal my arm." I literally could not do this. Literally, you couldn't do that. Yes. Give the King of Kings the praise. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, what happened? Her own right shoulder too. For years, she said, for years, and it comes and goes. She said. I raised it and it was gone. The pain went away when you said raise it. Someone give King, the King of Kings the praise. Same right shoulder, just healed tonight. All the pain is gone. Jesus. Same right shoulder for Jesus. how long? Jesus. Jesus. Give the Lord a praise. Stroke for, what, for how long? One year of stroke. Father, we give you the praise. Thank you for this healing. Power of the Holy Ghost. Set him free. Yes, what happened to her? Also your right shoulder. Which shoulder? Also your right shoulder. For how long? You almost lost yeah. your life last year, Prabhu and I. Car accident on 290 Expressway. Broke both legs. Brain injury. Um, I'm actually on the list for surgery. And I just told God and declared that I did not want to have it. And after five surgeries... And them telling me that I would not walk. I'm standing, standing here. here. Standing here. Yeah. 
and my shoulder is lifting. Give totally Jesus free the free of pain. Totally free Power of pain. Power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. So, Vicky had a stroke last year, October, and it's ever since she's not been able to raise her shoulder. But at the declaration, now she can lift the shoulder. Stroke last year healed. Yes, Give sir. Jesus the praise. Power. Since May of 2023, she has not been able to lift her shoulder as well. But after the declaration and the prayer, now she can even play. Give Jesus the praise. Hallelujah. Be free yes. completely. In the name of Jesus, lift up your hands, everyone. Someone battling with hearing with the left ear, completely, partially or totally deaf in that ear. You can step forward here and the Lord will open that ear right now. And if yours was the right ear, you, ca you can hear because of nerve deafness or conduction deafness or you're using a hearing aid. Yes, step forward here. Your left ear, for how long? For five months, maybe. I went to the doctor, I had ENT surgeries, and it hasn't helped. It hasn't helped you. What have you? Yes, I have uh, uh, almost total deafness in the left ear. Uh, and then also some partial hearing loss on the right on side. On the right, yeah. Incredible. Yeah. What a few, ma'am, sir. Um, Step over here. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Left ear, partial, deaf. For how long, sir? It's been gradually. Gradually. For lost, longer. you know, from what your hands. Father, thank you because it is gone. Ear. Open! Done. Come. Say Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now close your right ear and begin to hear with the left ear. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. I can hear. Give Jesus the praise. Give the King the praise. For your name is holy. It's holy. Can you close this here? Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. So I give the king the praise. The king of kings. The Lord of lords. We wouldn't be able to go on like this. I see people being healed of hip conditions. I see people lower back conditions. And every form of cancer and every form of lump and growth dissolving and disappearing right now. But now I prophesy a fourth dimensional financial miracle. Stretch your two hands in front of you. To receive something. And Father, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy upon every hand here. I prophesy it turn around. I declare wherever the enemy kept back what is yours. I decree the grip of that enemy broken. Within the next 24 hours. God give you a miracle that will amaze you within the next 48 hours. Within the next one week, I declare a complete turnaround of your financials. In the name of Jesus. If God leads you to do what you haven't done before, in the financial area in this season go ahead and do it I trust God
the same God has sent Peter to pick the coins from the mouth of the fish is going to direct you into a realm where your resources are waiting after this conference in the name of Jesus so shall it be I declare the I healed I healed I declare everyone with an eye condition not seen well not seen at all one eye or two eyes healed now come come I'm calling this sister right here come yeah yeah still stretch your two hands in front of you See with the right eye. I can see. I can see you, but I can't see you clearly. Hold this for me. Lift your hands. In the name that is above every name, Jesus, the resurrected Lord, I take authority over this eye and blindness condition of this eye. Jesus, open. Power. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. See. And see clear in the name of Jesus. Clarity now in Jesus' name. Close the good eye. Do what I do. Do it. Just do it with your, your finger. Uh, do 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 your, with your finger exactly what I do. Do what I do. Stand up for your feet. In the name of Jesus. Just look around you and see anything with that eye that you couldn't see well. Just go ahead and take a look and see. Someone give the king the praise. 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 It has given the king every other one with the eye condition wherever you are. The power of God is healing you there. Father, clear the eye. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Master. In Jesus' name. Now, I'm going to ask God for the release of supernatural power to walk in the fourth dimension. How many of us are ready for that? Like Philip, like Elijah, like the woman, lady I told you about, from the midst of the kidnappers, and disappeared from there. Where necessary, lift your hands and say, Father, I receive the power. While we are ready for, to receive this, if you are here tonight, and you are saying to me, Pastor, I want to give my life to Jesus. I want to be forgiven of my sins. I want addictions broken. Cocaine addiction, crack addiction, pornographic addiction, whatever it is. Or I want to rededicate or renew my relationship with God. And you are here. Before we receive that power, you walk forward here and receive yours in the front. The rest of us lift up your hands where, where you are. And if you are in need of surrender to Jesus, in need of forgiveness for your sins, you need an addiction broken, you need to renew your relationship with God, quickly rush to the altar. Don't wait for the first person to come. You come out first. Quickly rush to the altar. While they are doing so, the rest of us lift your hands. Yes, come forward quickly. Quickly to the altar here. While they are doing so, lift your hands now, everyone, and begin to ask the Lord for the release of power, supernatural power, power for the fourth dimension. Quickly come up, up, up here. Quickly keep coming, 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 keep coming. Yes, come forward here, surrender your life to Jesus. Come forward here, make your ways right with God, and let the yoke of sin be broken, let the yoke of addiction be broken, let the yoke of lukewarmness be broken, let the, let, let the agenda of hell for your life be broken. Commit yourself to Jesus tonight.
in the name of Jesus. Those in the front, pray after me and say, Jesus, I come to you. I surrender my life to you. Forgive me my sins. Help me, Lord, to live for you, to do your will. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray for you right now. I ask that the hold of sin be broken and grace to live for God be released upon you. Come forward, still join us. Be released upon you. Thank you, Master. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, lift your hands, everyone. Are you ready for the power? Yes. Do you believe that God will release something on you today? Yes. And step you into a new dimension. Yes. And say after me, say, Father, Father I, receive I receive the power for the new dimension. For the, new dimension. For the fourth dimension. For the fourth dimension. I, receive I receive it now. Now lift your hands. When I say in the name of Jesus, you bring the hands on your head and begin to pray, I receive. When I say in the name of Jesus, you scream, I receive. And once you place your hand on your head or on yourself, you begin to pray in the spirit. Are you ready for that? Are you ready for revival? Lift your hands. Father, I ask that this fresh fire and fresh power of the fourth dimension will come on your people. Step us into a new realm. Are you ready? When I say in the name of Jesus, you scream, I receive. And place your hand on yourself and begin to pray. Some of you will come under power. Some of us, something will come upon you. i like you to do that with expectation. Father, let fresh fire and fresh power fall. In the name of, in the name of Jesus, I receive. Pray, pray, pray. Receive. Receive, receive, receive. Receive, receive. Receive, receive. 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 Up your mouth and pray. Receive, receive, receive. Fresh fire, fresh power. Mashe toko bagaya la la huraya da 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 da. Receive the fire. Receive the power. Receive the grace. In the name of Jesus. Stretch your two hands in front of you. I pray. That Jehovah God will step you into the fourth dimension in every realm of your life, even in your financial area. May He give you testimonies. That will shock you. We went to the United Kingdom about three weeks ago to the city of Leeds. Incredible program, thousands of people. The mayor of the city was in attendance. Young man in our church decided to undertake every single bill for our trip to that crusade. On our return back, one week later, A thousand times of every single thing he gave. He said, Pastor, I didn't expect this in my lifetime. What I'm expecting at the most will be like 20% in my whole life. That is, if I achieve this, I'm done. God shifted him. 
is going to do exceeding abundantly above all you ask or imagine. I prophesy upon your hands a new season, a new face. You will testify that your hand has touched what you never believed you will touch in your lifetime. In the name of Jesus. I don't know if you have honored God today with your substance, but go on ahead and let's honor God. Appreciate him and let him know that you, you believe him and trust him for stepping into a, a, a fourth dimensional financial supply. Lift your hands and ask the Lord to step you in as you honor him. Open your mouth and speak to God. Everything on the earth. You are the God who can never fail. You don't know what it means to fail. The earth may fail. Everybody sing you are the God. All right, go on ahead and let's honor God with our offerings, tithes, and pledges. Every single one.